Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. We're gonna take a look at how your person feels about you, you versus them, what the energy is, or them versus you. So yeah, let's get into your reading. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Okay, Virgo, so. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, Virgo, looks like uh, you're, you're a person. You know who your person is. Um, well, l look, let me just say, <laughs> let me just say this. Um, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for betraying you. That's what I'm hearing. I'm sorry for betraying you, for stabbing you in the back. <laughs> for not surrendering to something or for giving up when you needed me. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. So your person, when we talk about your person, uh, your person can be a romantic partner. It could be a friend, family member, anybody um, in, in that area. Okay, so you try to make it fit um, it, not make it fit, but if you know who I'm talking about, then yeah, it's your reading. Okay. I feel like your person could be a water sign or an earth sign. They want to, um, they really want to tell you everything. They want to just open up and tell you everything. This feels a little like yesterday's reading. Okay. Um, so now we have King of Cups as well. So again, water sign, earth sign. For some of you, there is some kind of an apology for making a big mistake with somebody else or choosing somebody else. Um, and I'm also hearing whoever they were with or whoever they are currently with, they're not the one for them. You are the one. They see you as being the person for them. Okay. The, does that mean that that's what's going to happen? I don't know. But I feel like there is this apology that this person wants to give to you. And I feel like you will get this as either a text message, like either on your phone or somewhere on a computer. Okay, because I feel like you're going to see this. And they're hoping that you're going to read it. But there's also this energy that they feel like you are closed off to them. They feel like you don't want to share anything with them. Don't want to open up your emotions. They want to, they want you to try to talk to them. They think you might read messages from them or see it or just have them blocked or that you're just not interested in responding. So, you know, the Ten of Swords does represent some kind of betrayal. So there was something they realize or they understand that they did. And it seems to always be the story. But apart from that, with this Page of Cups, that's generally my um, apology card. And I do feel like this person would love it if you would forgive them, I'm hearing, or if you would open up to them as well. Okay. They do have very deep feelings for you, though. I do feel like this person loves you, Virgo. I do. But, but... They don't, they don't, they feel like they don't deserve your love in return. They, I, I, Virgo, did somebody hurt you? I feel like somebody here may have hurt you. Could have had something to do with needing to make a decision about a relationship here with you. Maybe they didn't commit or didn't want to commit or you felt like, well, we'll see how you feel. Uh, they may have strung you along or made you think that something was going to be more than it was, which is very devious. Even like, so that Ten of Swords, that's, that's a very, that's like opening up someone's heart and leading them down a road that they never intend to finish. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I, I do kind of feel like there is a person here who um, just gave you like a complete and painful, shocking kind of thing and they've hit rock bottom with this i will say that okay so 
Yeah, Virgo, I do feel like this person has very deep feelings, but there is even too um, some sense that they want to uh, reveal themselves to you, tell, the, tell you how they truly feel about you. Not really so much what they want from you, but or what they want or what they see as a future, but they want to express their love. And it's really difficult for them to do that because they're not that type of a person. I do feel like they look at you and they see you as that empress energy. They do see like, you know, they want to make plans with you. They're at, the, at their crossroad and they want to make some kind of plan to go forward with you. They do have ideas. Yes, but it's mostly, it's mostly that this person they want to apologize for coming in, breadcrumbing you, and walking away. Or disappearing on you. Yeah. I'm going to take a look at you, Virgo. Because I do feel like this person, their feelings did not match their actions. And even though they may have feelings for you, I, I do feel like when someone does truly love you, um, their feelings match up with their words and their actions. You know, it's like a trinity. It all goes together. Um, let me take a look at you here. All right, Virgo, you the Knight of Swords. Back off. I'm looking for something new here. Virgo, you know, I feel like for you, you're done with all kinds of burdens. Somebody's just trying to lay another... You might feel like somebody is trying to just add another stick to your already uh, gigantic pile of everything that you carry around with you. Virgo, I feel like for you, you're making changes in your life here. Uh, some of you have gone back to school or you're focusing on your kids or other family members or you're focusing on your work. I see you kind of just... You're laying low as far as like the things that you're doing for yourself. But as far as making changes in your life and trying to have a new, like there's no cup energy here. So you're, I don't really feel like you're focusing all that much on feelings or emotions. It looks like you're more interested in all the great things you could be doing with your life. Um, new plans, new projects. Maybe even taking a vacation over the summer. Virgo, listen, <laughs> just it doesn't look like you're even interested in um, either your person or just anybody right now. Like if there's nobody, like what you can't see, you're not sweating. So even with the Knight of Swords, that is about making some changes in your life, a lifestyle change, getting out there and doing things and finding your glow or glowing up or being more positive having happiness and joy so i mean i don't know virgo i don't i don't really i feel like if somebody's going to come in and apologize and express how they feel great but that doesn't seem like it would be enough for you okay great you love me great you feel this way about me great right i feel like you say that to yourself but you could take it or leave it because if you don't see any change, that's what you're requiring from someone. If you don't see that change, like, don't just tell me, show me. Is that what you're doing? Because that's what I feel like your energy is. Don't just tell me, show me. You're focusing on your dreams, learning new things. You don't, I feel like you're not bothered. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like you're not bothered. You don't want to hear any apologies. You don't want to, like, for some of you, it's just a little too late. So let's see what wonderful new things are coming in for you in your life here, Virgo. Because I know I was, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like some of you, like, you just don't want to hear anything. You just want to see. You don't want to hear anything. You just want to see. Otherwise, you can't be bothered. What's coming new into Virgo's life? Wow. So you have the Ten of Cups. This is good. This is really good. Happiness, family, 
joy, money. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. Oh my gosh. You've got the four of wands change. Blocking out things that, yeah, you're block, blocking out any trauma. Or, or not trauma, drama. Unexpected things. You're kind of like, yeah, whatever the chaos is, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm focusing on my family, my money, and all the stable, good, my community, my friends, the people who celebrate me and who, who, joy, who I find joy in, you know, parties, events, things like that. You know, Virgo, I do see at some point this year, and if you haven't listened yet, you can go back to my yearly reading, 2024, where I break it down month by month. There, it's in my, on my channel. Um, I do feel like you will have that Ten of Cups energy at some point this year. Is it going to be with this person? It could be. It might not be. It, it really feels to me like your energy is whoever shows up is the winner 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 chicken dinner whoever actually shows up is the winner i don't want to hear any words i don't want to hear any apologies i don't want to be sweet talked so you seem like you kind of have your your wits about you the rest of may it seems like you do you're coming into some money too virgo which is awesome things are going to change financially for the better for you that's luck with the wheel of fortune good fortune there's a turning point if you're playing any games for money or doing any gambling or investing you're gonna get a nice little payout money looks good you have good luck coming towards you and even with the four of wands so i kind of feel like the message here is for some of you there's celebration you're there's some reunion maybe with some family and friends this year homecoming but even this month and i feel like or you could have a connection with someone. You could be attending um, like a wedding or a celebration. Could it be yours? Yeah, you have two, you know, happily ever after cards there. However, um, yeah, I don't know, Virgo. I just feel like you're blocking out. Like you're not dealing with any chaos or any drama this month. Nope. Don't see it don't want it if I don't see it I'm not missing it which is good you're very focused on yourself so you know you just pretty much want whoever's gonna show up for you that's who it's important to you not just what people say or someone says but what they do so that's good I feel like your energy is just about enough Looking back at all the BS that you've been through in your life, and you're just like, you know what? I may have lost the battle, but I haven't lost the war. And you're still getting back up, putting your boundaries in a good, healthy place, healthy boundaries, and you're not defeated. Lessons learned from your past. Continuing putting in the effort to make yourself better. This is amazing gold riches manifesting all the things that you want you are gonna have that connection virgo yes but it feels to me like this looks like you are setting it firmly in place what you want what you need what's gonna work for you really it's it's really just a, about that you know so what does that mean like when you put up your boundaries you're gonna have to you'll be spending a little bit of time alone do you know what I mean? Like, are you willing to do that? Some Virgos are just perfectly happy being on their own. All right. So you do have a brand new love start. Wow. A wish come true with an Aries. Okay. Commitment. Working together. Power couple. You and this person. Okay. Emperor. Aries could also be a Leo or a Sag, but this is an energy of someone who is looking for the same thing as you and show it, shows me. It could be a friend you connect with or you meet. It's a new love. And it does feel like this is someone who is in boss mode. You know, they are pretty clear. They have good boundaries. They're clear. They don't mess around. They're not flaky. 
this is not someone who is like they are i want to say a warrior like a warrior you know like this is someone who could even be along the lines of military police fire people that go out anything to do with fighting and is on their purpose and has been on their purpose they're just not flaking around or you know looking for um what's the word i want to use a meal ticket this feels like someone like they've got financial stability yeah so i love it so as far as this other person you know i, I kind of feel like for some of you it's like uh, yeah they do care yeah they do love you to the best of their ability that they can love you and there is I just feel like with the page of cups page of cups is a very light energy you know it's it's a sweet energy but it's like um pages are immature you know um it's just it is a like a, a new love that's just an immature and it has to grow over time i feel like the your person while they do care for you they they've betrayed you and you know i don't really feel <laughs> like your feelings are really important i mean in this reading you know of course they are but i don't feel like you are putting them at the forefront um, you're focusing on, uh, yeah, so you have the four of, four of Pentacles. So you're kind of like not sharing how you feel. Because not that it's bad, sharing how you feel is good, but you're savoring it for people that you're on a need-to-know basis. You're not giving away all of your emotions to um, a particular person that isn't valuing them or isn't showing up obviously because they they did something that betrayed you it just feels like you're i don't know virgo i just get a sense of like you're looking turning the other cheek you're looking the other way i don't see you being sad i don't see you being heartbroken i don't see anything like that yeah, your phoenix is rising, Virgo. New phase, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. And and you're, this person's changing their mind and wanting to try. But you've also changed your mind and you're entering a new phase and not wanting to try. You know, um, you're transforming. And I feel like the reason you don't want to try is because somebody's not somebody's not really showing up the way you need them to not really showing their hand you know you don't trust somebody here you think that maybe they just are someone who's always taking chances but you know people who are risk takers they live for the adrenaline so they're not you know not crazy stable i mean not not very stable they're always taking chances always taking risks always being strategic looking at their options not telling you what they're doing yeah and you're looking for someone um who's a bit more stable and can offer security there's permanence growth endurance and is able to be flexible healthier choices yeah so it kind of feels to me virgo like you you're not anti-love though <laughs> you just seems like you're just reasoning things out for yourself you know somebody shows up and there's a spark and something's gonna work then they're gonna show up and and we'll see how that goes you know it's kind of hard to rebuild something that you know came crashing down like the tower you know you're not even it, even with the two of swords and the tower card i just feel like you're not even looking at it anymore like what's done is done hmm so yeah this person you know they are i don't i didn't see regret um, or remorse but i do feel i do feel like they didn't treat you well perhaps they're hitting rock bottom and they realize that and they want to treat you well now but it might be too too little it's just a little too late yeah, that's kind of what I feel like is going on here for you. 
Virgo, it seems like you're out with the old and with the new. You're holding out for someone better. Yeah. The struggle's over. You're done with the struggle. Any struggle. And financial loss in the reverse. That's great. Like I said, you had the Wheel of Fortune. Things are definitely going to be good for you. Good news about money coming in. Definitely. You're going to... um. Your losses will be regained. You know, you'll you'll be you'll they'll be replenished is what I'm trying to say. Look, and you have a new chapter. Looking back on the past one. But ready to write the next new chapters of your book. Traveling, exploring the world, space, the seas, the psych, learning, meeting new people, living your best life, and allowing the past to cycle out a new journey is ahead take someone with you or go solo but whatever you do it looks like it's time to get started make those future plans and choose a path that's what it feels like you're doing here yeah a new passionate start lovely so i mean i know this was a they versus you but if you wanted like real deep feelings this person isn't i mean they have deep feelings but they're not revealing a lot even if they are an earth sign or a water sign, they aren't revealing. They want to reveal, but they're not going to open up fully. They're going to come in with the Page of Cups, which is a very sweet, kind of light, airy, but there's no depth to it. So they're, you're still, I feel, will still be left with uh, still a little bit clueless as far as how this person truly feels. And I mean... Are they just incapable of expressing their emotions? They could be. You could be dealing with someone who's quite avoidant like that. Let's see what your messages of love are. Thank you everyone, by the way, for purchasing your extended reading yesterday. If you have not purchased your extended reading yet from yesterday's uh, reading, go over and check that out that was what the outcome how things will go with you and your person so go check that out um i just want to give a quick shout out to those of you who have recently joined my channel if you have not joined my channel yet go ahead and go ahead and do that also you can sign up at my website if you would like to get a free Twin Flame ebook. Yes, so if you sign up my website, you can go check that out real quick and then I'll get back to the rest of the reading. So if you have, oh, what the heck? If you have joined my channel, if you haven't joined yet, it is $2.99 per month and you get really cool shout outs, emojis, badges 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 and miss baker yes thank you for joining ms baker ms baker welcome and she has rejoined actually all right let's see what other messages fate this is a destined partnership okay put away the computer working less will help strengthen your relationship and you've got a soulmate coming in that will be a destined connection for you this feels like new okay this is new and you need to get some time apart from someone or keep that time apart from and so it just basically means go solo for now if you are already solo maintain that some of you need to keep maintaining it's not time yet but you need to get clarity about a past person, perhaps. In the meantime, play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other, which means the the more the, the other important people in your life, Virgo. Okay? The other important people in your life. Okay. You do have marriage coming up for you in the future or slash a sacred union with someone. But you just have to wait. Timing's not quite right. May, I feel like you will be connecting with somebody. Okay, yeah. Apology's going to come in, like I said. And you do have... Uh, okay, so here you go. New love or recommitment to love developing. So you take that as it resonates, Virgo. Please. <laughs> 
All right, let's see what the Chinese sign. Well, I want to take a look at you and a new person, what their Chinese sign will be. And you can just ask them when you meet them. Okay. So, year of the goat, year of the ox, year of the dog, year of the rabbit, year of the snake, year of the rat, year of the pig, and year of the horse, right? So, you or your person. Tomorrow I'll be back here to do your weekend reading. So do make sure that you um, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribed and you hit the notification bell so that you will know when readings are uploaded. Oh, hold on a second, you guys. Also, please put a like on the video because that will help the algorithm get the video out to more, more people and help grow my channel. If you can't donate, you can always hit the like button. That's the least you could do, and I would appreciate it. All right, so you do have a cancer showing up here. Someone's 55. Oh, look, there's two 55s. Wow, 5555. Five, five, five. Are you seeing that anywhere? Or 555, a sequence of fives? Um, five does represent change, realignment, freedom. Oh, freedom and travel. So if you're seeing that, that's definitely a sign. Oh, they just said to me, Y2K. Do you remember Y2K? So the year 2000, something was significant in 2000. Okay. So September 2nd, 1983, 1987, the letter Y, the letter F, and the letter I, and somebody's birthday is in February. Or something significant happened in February. You also have a Leo showing up here. Someone's 32, September 11th. Somebody's name is Keo. K-E-O. Keo. Or someone says Oki, like Okie Dokie. Oki with the letter X. We have the letter P. 1968. September 18th. We have another Virgo here. Letter C. Somebody's in California. Uh, somebody, either you're being poked or someone eats poke. Poke, is that how you say it? Poke, isn't that fish? Like poke or something? Or okra? All right, double Virgo energy, you and another person. Someone's 44, April significant month. That was last month. Someone's 39, someone's born in 66. We have the letter A, initial A. So, all right, August 24th, August 26th, August 31st. And we have the initials MJ or JM or just M and just a J. Okay, hold on, let me see if I can pick up places. Oklahoma. Someone's in Finland. They're saying, did I say September 18th? Okay, and September 6th, not sure if I said those. Uh, let's see, Kansas. I just got Kansas. Okay. Somebody's definitely in the United States. Okay. Oh, well, well, that's an easy one. Thank you, Spirit, for such a vague answer. Oh, they just gave me the word folly, like F, F is in Frank, folly, F-O-L-L-Y. I don't, and that could be a place. I'm gonna get Jim again. Or Jamie, Jim or Jamie. Oh, and then we got Kim. We got Kim, Kimberly, Kimma, Kim, first name, last name, Michael, Mika, Mike. Finn, F-I, well, Finn, okay. 
Oh, Missouri. I just heard Missouri. 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 And, um, oh, XP, XP, something to do with a computer, XP, XP, oh, I have to sneeze. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. Somebody likes yams or is eating yams. Um, serious radio i heard serious radio serious fm february 18th someone's a cop a cop like a cop cop police police cop and someone is a knockout <laughs> So either very attractive, a knockout, KO. Oh, September 11th just popped up. A knockout or is, um, that's two, one, 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 one. Ooh. Uh, or does something with fighting. Remember I was saying like fighting, warrior fighting. Somebody's a fighter. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Tomorrow I'll be back here with your um, uh, your weekend reading. I'm a little um, under the weather today. I don't know if you noticed like my new, I'm a little nasally, so when i am stuffed up i have to tell you and i don't like to take medication i try to not take it because i don't like the way it makes me feel but when i'm stuffed up I, like i said before it kind of closes my portal a little bit like it's all blocked my nasal and as some of you know <clears throat> my third the third eye between the eyebrows there and the messages uh, i don't know the filters like <laughs> jammed i don't know what's going on so i hope you got something here. I hope you were able to pick up something from what I said. The messages are just, I think, I think everyone inside my portal is so messed up too. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I need to go get some rest again. Oh, look at that. The heart locket is back yet again, you guys. And I didn't even do the charms. Well, here you go. This is what they want you to see. Let me just show you real quick. I think this was as it was yesterday. Heart luck without a key virgo wait for the person who has the key to your heart keep it locked up until someone that has the key to key to your heart knows how to open up your heart and you can trust right um or when you're ready to give the key to your heart keep it locked i feel like that's the message all right i'm gonna go bye Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.